hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today i will be taking you through the process of how i installed windows 10 on my mac pc so this works for macbook pro 2012 and above macbook air 2012 and above then mac mini 2012 to 2018 then imac 2012 to 2020 so let's begin with the process and you need a free storage of at least 64 gig or more to install your windows partition on your mac so you want to search for windows 10 and what we'll be needing is downloading the ISO file from Windows 10, from Windows official website. So you click on 64, sorry, the ISO file and you choose your language. Then you confirm, we should begin with download. In this case, we're choosing a 64, 64 bit download ISO file so wait for the download file to be done downloading After it's done download, downloading, you search for bootcamp, then you start up the process and make a partition. Then bootcamp has already selected the download file for me, which is Windows 10. Then continue. Then wait for bootcamp to finish its installation and download And after that it should start and the window setup should start then you choose your language time and keyboard layout then you can choose i don't have this key and you can also set up that later then choose the version of windows 10 you want in this case i'm choosing the windows 10 pro in this video i'm choosing the windows 10 pro Then you want to continue with the installation process. Then this process takes like about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. You wait for the process to be done. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a comment in the comment section below and also share your thoughts about this video.
the windows is getting ready to complete its installation and you wait for the process to be completed And don't forget to connect to an internet, it's quite important. We'll see the reason why it's important later in this video. So you enter your password, then you continue with the installation. make sure when you are doing this process make sure your PC is plugged to power while setting this up And you set up you can skip this this step and you can always set it up later when windows is done completing its setup and you name your pc
so previously the reason why we have to connect to the internet is because because a uh, bootcam needs to download drivers so that um for this case i'm using a macbook pro so that the touch bar areas could work uh, properly and all other drivers that that bootcamp needs for windows to work pro properly on this mac so bootcamp will be able to download them from the internet so this is bootcamp completing its process and downloading the files required So you wait for Bootcamp to complete this thing, download and install. Then click on finish, then it will restart. After restarting, you get to see everything is working. The function keys, the function that's the touch bar because I'm using a MacBook Pro, are now fully enabled and working fine. That's the brightness, the volume key. Everything is working fine, including the backlight. Then to switch from your Windows to Mac or Mac to Windows, you restart your Mac, then hold down the Option key while it's trying to boot up. Then your Mac will give you op option to choose between windows or mac operating system so this is me choosing mac operating system to show you that we have both operating system on the mac pc thanks for watching